In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how I made these really great icons for my desktop to organize all of my files. And you can use your branding colors, you can make these uh, pictures if you want instead of words. You can really make these very customizable. So I'm going to show you how to do this for a Mac and for a PC. And the first thing we need to do is to make the icons themselves. And we do that in Google Slides. So go to google.com forward slash slides and open up a personal slide. We'll start with a blank one right here. Just click on blank. And the first thing you're going to do is remove these text boxes right here. All right. Let's just make them really simple like the icons I had on my desktop, which are just circles. So we're going to make simple circles. All we're going to do is insert a shape and we'll insert a circle here and you draw out the circle. There we have the circle. Now I need to fill in the circle with a special color that I choose. So I click right over here where it says fill color. Find a color that you like. We'll go with this bright pink since it's easy to see. Make my circle a little bit bigger. There we go. And now I'm going to add a text box right here in the middle. So to do that, I click on this icon that says text box and I drag my text box. I'll start typing in um, what it is I want it to say. Highlight it. You want to make it bold. You can adjust the um, font type if you'd like to. I'm going to make this um, luckiest guy. I want to make this particular font white. So here I highlight text color. and I'm going to go over here to white. And now I want to center this. Uh, where did it go? Gone. It's highlighted. I'll click on this icon. I'm going to go to center. And then I also want to center it within that box. And I need to increase the size of the font. So let me just go ahead and bump this up. Let's just go to 72 and see how that, well, let's go to 96. It might be too big. There we go. So I've got my word here. And the important thing here is I need this background. Instead of being white, I need this to be transparent. So in order to do that, I click on background right here. I go to color, I say transparent, and I say done. Now I need to save this to my desktop. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say download. And I want to download this as a PNG because you want that transparent background. So I'm going to say PNG and I'm going to download it to my desktop or wherever you want to download it. Once you've downloaded this to your desktop, open the file that you've downloaded. And when you open it, go up to the top and click on copy. So you're going to copy this image. Then find the icon that you want to change and yours will probably look like folders. Right click on the icon you want to change and select get info. And again, these are the Mac instructions. I'll do the Windows instructions in just a second or the PC instructions. Once you've clicked on right clicked and said get info, this little box is going to pop up. Click on the icon here at the top and then up in your top menu, you're going to click on paste. All right, so you can click paste and you'll see it changes the icon to the demo that we copied and pasted. And that is how you change the icon. Now, once you have changed it, then you're going to want to adjust the size of those icons. And the place where you do this at the top of your toolbar or at the very top of your screen, click on go, sorry, not go, <laughs> view and go to show view options. When you, add, when you click on that, you'll see this box pop up and here's where you can change your icon size to make them larger or smaller to fit on your desktop or to make them easy for you to see however you like. You can even space them out a bit and you can change the text size underneath um, if you'd like to. That's entirely up to you. So this is how you change the layout. This is again all on a Mac and next up, I'll show you how to make these changes on your PC. Okay, on a PC, things are handled a little bit differently. Um, first thing you'll need to do is you can still make the image in um, the Google Slides and download that image. 
but then you'll need to convert the image into an icon format for um, for Windows. And the best site to go to is this one right here, iConvert.com, and it's free, so that's nice. So what you'll do is you'll choose your file and you'll upload your file to iConvert. So let me go ahead and choose a file that I've saved here, just a quick picture. So I've got my file here and then I'm going to upload it. Now, once it says successfully uploaded, there's your picture or whatever your picture says. Now, if you want to crop it, you can. So I'm just going to you know, draw a little square here and crop this. See, I just want this part of the picture and you can choose the shape sizes. So on my desktop, it's all circles. You might wanna have hearts or squares or something else. So let's just make this one a heart. And I'll scroll down a little further. And when it comes to the format, you do want it to say ICO. So have it say ICO, and then you're going to convert ICO. So it takes a second to do this, and then you'll download your new icon, uh, and it just downloads, look at that, directly to your computer. So now when you're on your desktop, let me get up here and show you. Here is, where is it? Here's my new folder right here. I'm going to right click on the folder that I want to change and I'm gonna go down here to properties. When I get to properties, I'll go over here to customize and then go down here to the very bottom where it says folder icons. So if I wanna change the icon, it gives you some defaults, but these are not the pictures you're looking for. So you wanna find the one that you've downloaded so if I click Browse and I go to Downloads, this is the icon fold file that I downloaded. So I'm gonna click on this one and say Open. This, remember I said a heart and it was the puppy, so that's the icon I'm looking for. And then I'll say OK. When I click on Apply, you'll now see that my folder has the heart with the dog in it. So. Anyway, that's how you do it on a Windows computer. Um, a few more steps there, but still able to customize these and make them look however you want. Good luck.